lesson, we're going to learn about and practice a word solving strategy that good readers use when they come across and struggle with longer words. I call it cover and read. You already know and use strategies for solving longer words. Strategies like breaking the word into syllables or looking for vowel patterns. And those are all very effective. Today, we're going to learn another strategy. We're going to look for the beginning and endings of words to help us figure out longer words. Specifically, we're going to look for common beginnings like pre or re and common endings like full or less or ing. And we're going to focus on the base word first. When you get to a long word, you can sometimes take the word apart. One way to take it apart is to take off the beginning or the prefix or the ending or the suffix. If you see ing, ed, or er, those are common endings or suffixes that are added on a, onto a base word. If you cover it with your finger and only pay attention to what's left at the beginning of the word, you may find yourself saying, hey, I know that word. Then you can add the ending back on and read through the whole word. Here are some steps you can follow to use this strategy. When you come to a longer word that you don't know, look for a common beginning or ending. Use your finger to cover the beginning or ending. Read the base word. Add the beginning or ending back on and read the whole word. Watch while I practice this strategy on a passage from one of my favorite books, Ralph S. Mouse by Beverly Cleary. A boring place for a mouse, Ralph decided, until he dis, oh, I don't know that word. Let me cover the ending until he discover, oh, I, I know that. Okay, until he discovered something in, oh boy, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of letters right there. Enter, I see the ing, I'm going to cover it. Interest, interest, interesting on a bottom shelf behind a big desk. Oh, that did work. Let me reread. A boring place for a mouse, Ralph decided until he discovered something interesting on a bottom shelf behind a big desk. Do you see how it helped me to cover the ending and read the base word? Now it's your turn. Here's another passage from Ralph S. Mouse. Pause the video. Read the passage and see if there's at least one word that's a little bit longer that you can apply the strategy with. Pause the video now. How did you do? Well, when I read this passage, I got stuck on a couple of words. For example, Ryan looked around to make sure no one was watch, watching. Oh, I saw the ing and quickly I read watch and then I put on the ing. Watching before lifting Ralph out of his pocket and, oh, I saw the ing, placing him in an over, well, that's a long word. I see the ed, I'm gonna cover it, overturn, overturned, boot. Do you see how easy and so quick it happens so quick in your mind. Cover it, quickly read the base word, put the ending back on and read the whole thing. So today when you go off to your independent reading, you can apply the cover and read strategy. When you come to a longer word you don't know, look for a common beginning or ending, cover it, cover the beginning or ending, read the base word, and then add the beginning or ending back on and read the whole word. Have fun reading.